Welcome to Biology Access. In today's class, I'll be continuing on my biostatistics series, taking past questions on regression analysis. If you know you are new to this channel, please kindly press the subscribe button and put on the notification so that you get notified whenever I post a new video. So let's take this question. A fish biology is interested in finding out if there is a relationship between the increase in weight of fish that has yield and the fish feed quantity in each one acre pond. So the data collected here is actually given below. When zero fish feed was applied in one acre, the yield was five. When four was applied, seven. It was applied. The yield is nine. The data is given below. Now you have been asked to calculate the slope of the regression line. In fact, for you to actually look for the relationship, you must have to calculate the slope of the regression line as well as the intercept. Then you now find the regression equation before you can now use the equation to predict. So the question is actually given on the board. Now, once you have been given this data, the first thing that you need to do is this. As usual, put together your table but before we do that, look at this again. You are asked to predict. Before it said, perform immigration analysis to evaluate the impact of fish feed on the yield of this. Then from two above, if 6 kg per acre of fish feed is applied, what will be the yield? You are actually asked to comment on the application. So I just want to go through the question before we, so that you get an idea of how to apply regression analysis in power statistics in research. All right, so X as usual is given, Y is given. You know that S squared as usual is just, you look for the square of this, the square of this is here, the square of this is here. Square 12, you have one, four, four, square 16, you have this, so you do it down. Then the square of Y, 5 squared is 7 squared, you have this, 9 squared, you have this, so you continue down. x, y, 0 times 5, you have 0, 4 times 7, you have 28, 8 times 9, you have this, so you continue down as usual. Also, you look for the sum. Please take note, if you have not watched my previous video on how to calculate regression analysis, please do that before watching this video. So, add all this together, sum of x, you have this, add all this together, sum of y, you have this, add all this together, sum of x squared, you have this, add all this together, you have this, sum of x, uh, y squared, then you add all this together, sum of x, y, you have this. The first thing is calculate for what? The y intercept. Then you also calculate for the slope. All right, so let's just take the formula for calculate for y intercept. The formula is written on the board. Is E, which is the y intercept, in summation x, uh, y brackets, summation s square. It's written on the board, actually. All right, now let's apply this. Summation y, which is 117, is here, times summation x square. x square, this is x square. Copy it here, put it in bracket. Here is what minus sign. Then here you have your the summation what x. Summation x is here, you can see it. Then put it there, y summation x, y. You put your multiplication sign here, summation x, y is here, you put it there. All over n, number of value 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. You have number of value as 9. Summation x square. Summation x square again is here minus summation x. Then you square it. Now, what is summation x? This is summation x. You put it inside and you square it. If you use this to multiply this, the minus sign is there. If you use this to multiply this, the minus sign remains there. This is to multiply this. The minus sign remains there. Then square this value. You have this answer here. Now, if you now subtract this, remove this from this, you have this answer. You remove this from this, you have this answer. Carry out your division, and you have 
the answer for your y intercept or a now to calculate for the slope of regression line use this formula n bracket formation x y minus the, fa the formula is, is on the board you know that the value of n is 9 value of summation x y now let's get that from the table is 2 3 8 0 put it in bracket this minus sign take it here summation x is 1 4 4 summation y is 1 1 7 put them in bracket and put your multiplication sign because there's nothing here all right put your division sign this n here, you can also see that it's 9 as usual times summation what? S squared. Summation S squared is 3264. You can always get that from the table. All right. Put your subtraction sign here. Now, summation x, but you have to square it. So summation x is inside, you square it. And if you carry out this times this, you have this. This times this, you have this. Put your minus sign there. This times this, you have this. And if you square this, you have this. Put your sign here. Carry out the this from, subtract this from this. You have this. Subtract this from this. You have this. And carry out your division. You have your slope or B. Now, once you get that, you now go to your normal regression equation, which is similar to the equation of line in mathematics. All right? y equals to a plus bx you know that we calculated for a and b so the value for a as you know already is 4.53 you have that the value for b you already calculated that for that you have that here and you put your x remember your x is actually the independent variable why this one changes if you change this value of this this will what change so this is actually dependent on this and they ask you to carry out what the um the third question there is saying you should analyze the carry out the regression analysis on it so it's simple for the analysis actually shows that for every increase in fish if you increase the fish by one kg per acre of the pond there will be what a corresponding increase of this in the value of what y you can carry that increase it by one you see the value increase the x by one you see the value change it to two you see the increase for every increase for every increase in one kg per acre of the fish what field you have a corresponding what increase in what the yield of fish of what this 0 0.52 9 kg per watt acre of the pond, right? And the last one is asking you to predict if you apply 6 kg of fish feed per the acre of pond, what will be the yield? You know that your formula is already here. This is the equation, but you know this is actually the equation which you already formed. I just put 6 here, which I did here. Put six here, which I did here, and if you put six, you carry the use to multiply this. You have three point one seven four. Add this together, you have this. So once you form this equation for any value of y that uh, for any value of x that they ask you to calculate the value of y, just put the value of x here, and you get the value of what y. How do you do that? Use the value of x to multiply this. The answer add it to this, and you have the value of why you know you have any question you can always send your questions to uh, biology access at gmail.com i will provide answer please support uh, subscribe please subscribe to support this channel thank you